A bit of health news. Studies show black women are more likely to die during childbirth compared to other races. And the Malone Center's maternal wellness program has been providing resources to support black moms. They recently received a large donation from a national health care company to further their efforts. 1011's Kendall Lanier brings us the details on all the program is doing. Madison, the Malone Center tells me black women are three to four times more likely to die during childbirth. Because of this, the Maternal Wellness Program provides childbirth education, birth and postpartum doula support, breastfeeding support, access to diapers, and more. Anthony Schutz, mother of an eight-month-old boy, has benefited from the Malone Center's maternal health program in all stages of her birth. When I found um, a doula that I really liked, she was part of the Malone Center and I didn't realize that. She told me about the program and I was like, wow, okay, that sounds like a really great program. Through the Maternal Wellness Program, Schutz's doula costs nothing. She provided me with four different classes through the Malone Center um, about breastfeeding and delivery and uh, interventions that can happen during pregnancy. Ann Anderson Berry, the medical director of the Nebraska Perinatal Quality Improvement Collaborative, says doulas are a way to support women during the birth process. They can't solve all the problems, but they can be an extra advocate for a pregnant woman. Um, and so we have spent a lot of time um, training um, black doulas because there were not very many black doulas um, just a couple of years ago. The $50,000 donation to the Malone Center helps them to continue to address problems that arise during childbirth. In the U.S. in 2023, black women um, died at 51.3 her 100,000 live births, whereas white women had 19.6 deaths per 100,000 live births. The Malone Center says much of the crisis surrounding black maternal health is systemic. We try to address as many of those social, de social determinants of health as we can. Um, and there's a lot of barriers, including access to care, education, resources, time. Um, many of our families are low income, and so we want to do our best to be able to support them and remove as many barriers as we can. The Maternal Wellness Program has served over 120 families locally over the past four and a half years, and with the help of this donation, they plan to continue to serve women in need.